I wanted to create beautiful images. I like to seduce people with my work. I like to create an illusion. I like them to think maybe that there is a, it's a romantic image of, of, of something that it's actually not. So it started with creating a romance and so that I could seduce the viewers to, to make it more easier to start the conversation about immigration. Well, I decided to walk from my hotel to here without even knowing how to arrive. I was just asking around how to arrive and I thought this is a path to a place where I need to be, but I don't know where it is. And I started to collect the things that the nature gives us in our paths, which become our stories. And it made me think about immigration, refugees actually not knowing exactly what is the path to Europe, the fear. And I think it's not the same experience, but at least the things that they find on their way it becomes their story. So that's why I collected those plants and stones. The research is often just based on placing myself in dangerous places and really going under the skin of the people that I work with. So in all the images, you see people that, work, that are in, living in slums, that, that don't make enough money. Often, when you are taking a picture as a photographer of other people's misery, what they, what they, their fear is that you will take this image and actually make fun of it. And their fear is that you will create images that help people continue to misunderstand their identity. I worked with a prostitute in one of the pictures. Um, that's the picture of the lady feeding a grown man. And she said, but what will you do with my pictures? People will laugh at me. You, you are taking me to Paris. You're taking me to Amsterdam. And people will look at me and say that I'm ugly or that I'm, that I'm a Congolese prostitute. And I told her that as a photographer, I do not want to continue to contribute uh, to negative images of certain groups, especially groups that are often discriminated. Because in, in times of crisis in Europe and in Africa, it's good to bring hope. Hope so that people continue to fight to one day have a safe home. It's maybe something that a lot of people don't, don't think about. But I, I often think about death. And I'm ashamed that if I die, and if there is really a God up there, that he asked me, like, what have you done while you were there? You saw people being discriminated. You saw a lot of bad things happening to people, and you never said anything. And, and I think that if I want to exist as a human that brought change, I have to take those risks. Well, I believe that if we take what everyone is bringing from, from their countries and we, we treat it as, as this and we put everyone's input together, we can really plant a society which will invest in educating the new generation about immigration.